So NumPy is another fundamental package for scientific computing using Python. And it is a Python library that provides a multi-dimensional array object, various derived objects such as masked arrays and matrices, and an assortment of routines for fast operations on arrays, including mathematical operations, logical operations, shape manipulation, sorting, selecting, I.O., discrete Fourier transforms, basic linear algebra, basic statistical operation, random simulation, and much more. So, if you go to numpy.org, you'll find the NumPy documentation, and this is where this NumPy array here lives. So, it's part of this NumPy library. So, we've seen that the type of the data is a NumPy ND array, and ND array is a class. And it, an array object that represents a multidimensional homogeneous array of fixed size items. An associated data type object describes the format of each element in the array, its byte order, how many bytes it occupies in memory, whether it's an integer, a floating point number, or something else. So we have this NumPy array, and an array, an array has also attributes and methods. So we have things like argmax, argmin, we have the minimum and maximum like I showed before. So this will show you the maximum value of this array. We have mean that computes the mean of this array. We would have many different methods and attributes. You can convert it to a list, to a string, you can transpose. So we will look, you can sort, you can round, reshape. So, we will take a look at it as it appears. But one thing also important is we have the shape, and this would give you the shape of this array, and saying that it has 48,000. We could simply create an array, so we will use np import numpy as np. A equals np dot array um, zero and one. So now we have an array that has this um, zero and one, and the shape here is two. And an int sixteen is a signed integer type that is compatible with the C short. So this is int 16, this is the D type of this data. So this array is an NumPy array that takes 16-bit um, signed integers that goes from minus 32, 768 to 32,767. And all the elements of this array, they are of this type NP int 16. So here we have an example where we have two numbers that I'm defining as a NumPy int 16 type. One is 2 to the power of 14, that is this number here. The other one is 2 to the power of 10. So if we try to multiply these two numbers, A multiplied by B, we have an error. Overflow encountered in short scalars. So remember that this is a NumPy int 16. So the range, the maximum value it supports is 32,767. If you try to make operations that the result is higher than these numbers, we are going to have this overflow. So here, for example, another, if we have the 32,767 and we try to add one to this, we have the overflow. But if we go to 32,766 and we add one, we are still inside this range. So Python is not a typed language. That means that you don't need to define the types beforehand. It gives us an, ex an advantage that it makes the, the, the language easier, but there is a disadvantage because you are not exactly aware 
you need to pay attention to what type of data you're dealing with otherwise you can run in problems like overflow this is of maximum importance when you are working with uh, language like C for example because you need to define so you need to have some information about the kind of numbers you're going to use and also in processors in embedded systems you can have uh, audio codecs that they are 16-bit you can have processors that they are 16-bit 8-bit 32 bits 64 bits and you need to pay attention otherwise you can have some bugs or you can have some results that you are not expecting so we know what is numpy we know what um, numpy array is so it's a special data structure that can support arrays and we can have arrays just with um, rows just with columns with a certain number of columns and rows we know that inside this array we have elements and like numbers and these numbers they can have of different types so in this case we have here an array of type int 16 because we were using this function from scipy.io wave file read and it will determine the data type from the file so we've saved this file and this file was a 16-bit sign uh, integer PCM so this is why we have this int 16 so the numpy d type is in 16 and these are the minimum and maximum values possible when we are using this data structure